Yeah, and I'm a massive advocate for AI in learning. I mean, I use it every single day, uh, mainly to understand complicated problems. So I, I'd say that with AI, it's pretty bad with maths. And if I try and give it like, you know, actual massy problems, but with um, you know, biology or physics, it's really, really good because like recently I've been trying to understand biology better. I'm trying to understand physics better. And, you know, I'll, I'll watch YouTube videos online of, of sort of going over topics, but a lot of it I wouldn't understand. So then I'll go and ask ChatGPT a question about it and say, explain it. And then I'll say, I won't understand some bits. So I'll point, target some bits out and say, oh, can you explain this simpler? Um, and I'll, I'll say, oh, I think you mean, like, I think it means this. Is that is that right? And it'll say, oh, you're kind of along the right line, like, right lines, but not, it, it's like a teacher, basically, like a personal teacher. And uh, I use it in that sense. And I, yeah. I find it very, very useful. I mean, it, it can be, but would you, you need to be careful. Yeah. Um, because it's not always right. You know, I, I've kind of, I've put things. So, so actually, at the moment, all of my modules are open book online assessments. They're not invigilated exams. And that's because they, those assessments are not tell me what we know. It's apply what we know to problem solve. And the AI is not so good at that. But, you know, if you, I have put some maths things because I've got some maths in some of my modules. Um, if yeah. I put maths things, so it, it just doesn't, it can't, it can't deal with standard units and it gets the yeah. calculation completely wrong. But you do have to be careful because I have put things through and it, and it's, it comes back with things that are just wrong. Yeah, so... I think, I mean, I would say that from my experience, if it's your degree, that like obviously if you're, it's bio, biomed, or for me, if it's like engineering, if I ask it questions actually for my course, it will struggle to get it right because it's at that university, the high university level, I think it struggles with. But let's say for me, for example, you know, I'm like, let's say I'm trying to learn some biology. I'm, I'm probably learning at, you know, a ethic form level or something. So, you know, me asking it questions, I'm presuming it's probably right. And then if it's not, you know, I probably accept that degree of, of uh, like misinformation because it's an efficient tool to learn. Even if let's say 5% of it is wrong, I feel like the time it saves, maybe it's okay to have that level of misinformation. I suppose it's like, as time goes on, the error region will come become lower and lower. So it's sort of accepting what tolerances you'd, you'd accept with your learning, if that makes sense.